Hello everybody and welcome to Artistic Zeal Productions. Today we're going to show you how to create a wall breaking in 3D. Uh, here are some examples that I have. You can see we have Tony that uh, comes up to a wall, punches it, breaks it into pieces, and then walks into the into that building. Okay. Another one that I did was uh, for Pandora's Tomorrow. Check out their website. They had some great new products, new stuff. Uh, it's a great uh, adventure and uh, a, a game system. So take a look at what they've got, pandorastomorrow.com. It looks something like this. So you can see we have a castle, and we have a dragon coming out of it, exploding it, and breaking it into pieces. Now the thing about this is we did most of this in uh, After Effects and Photoshop. We do have some 3D elements that we need to bring in and that's from Action Essentials. So if you have that, uh, really it's a great pack if you haven't gotten it from Video Copilot. Grab that so you can use it for your all your projects. So let's get started. So we go over to our uh, After Effects program and I have the footage that I shot of Tony as he's walking up to the wall and he takes a punch. So the idea is that we're going to extend this wall out to meet right where he would be breaking it. And then we're going to also create a uh, an extension. We're going to track the, the, the wall that we extended here and make it look like it breaks apart. So the way you do that is you're going to set up a point. I'm going to put it right where he was supposed to be punching. And I'm going to go over to Composition. And we're going to save that frame into a Photoshop layer. So you go ahead and click that. Click Save. It'll bring it into Photoshop. So now let's go over to Photoshop. So here is our frame that I saved previously. Uh, as you can see here, this was the original frame. So what I did is I'm going to grab my lasso or polygon tool and I'm going to extend out this wall. So basically I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this out and duplicating it. Uh, it's good to, if you have a brick wall, you can see the little lines. If you go right around the lines, you can match them up so that way when you move it over, you bring it up, you change it and adjust it. Uh, that way it uh, looks like it's seamless. It just kind of falls right into there. Uh, makes it look more realistic. So what we did is we cut it out and it looked like that originally. Now the other thing that I did is I duplicated the same layer that I just did. Now you can see I extended it out looks like that. You can see the little uh, sections that I cut out so that way it kind of blends in. And then I extended it upward so I duplicated it and made it go up. Uh, so that way I, I kind of hid all the power lines and everything else. So you can make it whatever you like. Uh, but that was kind of uh, just easier to, to deal with. Now the other thing is cutting out this wall here. So basically I took the finished layer as you can see, I have it cut out over here and extends over. And then I went in there and just used, again, the polygon tool and cut out a section. So it looks like he's, that section is broken. So that section we're actually going to use uh, to create a shatter effect. So we're going to take that part and go into After Effects, mask it out, and then put the shatter effect onto it. And it's going to break into pieces. And then we're going to add the 3D elements that's in Video Copilot to make it a little bit more realistic and add some, some detail to it, okay? So once you've created this wall panel, you're going to have that section, the section cut out. You can see on here also I kind of uh, made an interior look to it. You can see that also in the, um, in the castle section. So... Uh, it looks like the interior here is part of the building. So really this was just a picture and I cut it out and then I made an interior portion of it and made it look like it's broken uh, and some cracks. Uh, but it's really, this was just a picture uh, that was taken and made into this 3D layer. So once you have your wall created, you cut it out and you made that little section cut out, you're going to bring all those into After Effects. So go to File save and then bring that in so now we're back in our composition in after effects so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in those those files the first thing that we want to do is we're going to track this wall so that way when you bring in that file of that wall the wall is not just floating around it's got to look like it's stationary in this shot so what we're going to do is we're going to find a point 
right before he starts, we're going to go over to our up into the menu, go to layer, new, and we're going to select null object because that's what we're going to uh, attach our tracking to. Now go down here, select your video footage that you did, and you're going to hit track motion. That's going to bring you one tracking point. We also want to get the rotation, so you're going to click on the rotation. Now if you hold down the, uh, the space bar, it'll give you a little hand. That way you can move your footage around. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring these track points in. We're going to pick two spots. So I've got this little spot here. And I'm going to pick the other one right here. Uh, and then we're going to start tracking forward. So you can see our little track forward button, like a play button. Hit that and it's going to start tracking our movements. There's Tony smashing that. And he walks through the wall. All right. So we're going to track to that point and then we're going to go to edit target. It's going to go to our null object, hit okay. And then we're going to apply it. So go back over here to this button, hit apply. X and Y values, yes and there is our tracking motion. Okay, so we're gonna just close this little uh, arrow down and we're gonna bring in our layers. So we have the two layers that we had created. So let's bring in first one, bring it on top here. As you can see, I have it matching pretty well already. And you can see the little cut points on there. We're gonna bring in the second one right on top and that is going to uh, close it off so that way the idea is when he oh let's uh, make sure that we have this tracked so uh, over here on the parent we're going to parent our two new um, images so we're going to hit the null object for both of those and what they'll do it'll stick it'll make it stay with the wall there so there's Tony boom punching out this section here. Uh, so what we're going to do is now animate that section. So we added our solid wall. We're going to duplicate that wall. So we're going to hit Control Duplicate, Control D, it'll duplicate it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just hide that for just a second, the top one. Now let's go down to the second one, the first one that we created, and we're going to adjust the opacity. So let's drop it down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this section here. We're going to use our pen tool, go up to our pen tool, and we're going to mask it out. So I'm going to just go right around the section that I had cut out here. And the idea is try to get it as close as you can. OK. Now what we're going to do is adjust the mask here. We're going to go ahead and expansion. We're going to bring it out a little bit. So that way it kind of covers in the, the little areas that we might be missing. So the whole point of this is we're going to add a shatter effect to this layer. Let's go ahead and make it visible all the way. So adjust our opacity back to 100%. And then we're going to go into our shatter effect. So you go to your effects and presets and type in shatter. And then it'll bring your shatter effect. And then we're going to go ahead and attach that effect to what we have here. Now, you can see you have some lines here. You're going to go over to the left side here where your effects are. If you don't have it, it's the effects tab up there. Put it to rendered. And then you're going to move it to the front. So you can see here that it'll break apart into pieces. So let's move this footage to the front here, right where he breaks it. So that way it shows, shows him breaking it, okay? Now the size of it, it's way too big, so we need to adjust that. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna just move it forward a little bit, we're going to go over to our shape here, and then we're going to adjust the, it says repetition, repetitions, and we're going to just start moving it over and see how those pieces look. We want to get them about the size of what the brick would be from there. So we're going to just shrink them down a little bit and just kind of adjust it to, to fit. So if you had smaller brick, you want to make it smaller. If you have bigger brick or if it's a solid wall, 
Uh, we're using bricks for, for ours, but you can uh, use, uh, if you wanted, crescent, chevrons, whatever shape you think it would look good, you can go ahead and select that from the pattern. Because this is bricks, we're just going to keep using that bricks, and we're going to simulate some other 3D, um, 3D material that we have. So as you can see, boom, he punches it, and it shoots out. Okay. Now let's bring in our our top layer we're going to uh, go ahead and and make it visible and then we're going to adjust the opacity so for this one we're going to do a hundred percent right before it shatters we're going to hit page down and then we're going to drop it to zero so what that does is it keeps your wall there until boom he breaks it okay it's also going to hide some of the other effects that we're going to be putting in there so that's a, a, a good thing to have there as you can see boom he breaks it that in itself kind of looks looks the part but you're going to add dust elements you're going to add a, a bunch of other little things that shake so it, it looks like it's a big strong hit and that way it, it looks a little bit more realistic now the other thing that we had from uh, Video Copilot were several little uh, breaking uh, elements. So we have like the cement collapse. What we're going to do is we're going to bring that underneath our wall section and move it over. So you can see where it breaks there. So let's move that footage right about where this would break. As soon as it breaks you can see it, it breaks into little sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make it, have it enlarge. The way we're going to do that is we're going to create a position. So let's go back to right before, hit a position, put a position, put your scale, and then also your opacity. Your opacity, let's actually change that to zero. And then go down a couple of frames by hitting page down. As soon as it starts to break, let's bring it up to 100. And then we're going to adjust the, the scale and the movement. So let's increase the scale because you can see, oh, I'm sorry, we're moving it over a little bit. And now we're going to adjust the scale a little bit. And then we're going to bring it down a little bit. Go a couple pages down more, and then we're going to bring it down a little bit more. To make it seem like it's falling right on the floor you can see the shadow on here to match up we're going to move the scale it up a little bit more also so that way when it breaks you have several pieces that are flying and landing okay uh, the thing that you can see it's 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 gray what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a color correction so you go up to effect color correction and you can go to curves and then we're going to adjust the red channel and then pull it up a little bit so that looks a little bit better let's see and then let's lighten it up a little bit okay so now it looks a little bit more matching uh, and it's just by adjusting in curves so you can see we have our explosion pieces the other the other thing that you want to add another element is going to be um, dust so you can have dust coming at you So once again, we're going to adjust the size of that. So you're going to select it here. You're going to start, hit the shift. Pretty, pretty small first. And then we're going to adjust the scale. So we're going to go to transform, put a position, scale, opacity. We're going to move the opacity up from zero, from 100, and then adjust the one to zero, and then it's going to explode. And what we want to do is have this scale up. 
So we're going to scale it up so it looks like it comes towards us. Position it accordingly. And then you're going to adjust the opacity because that's way too much. But that little bit will make a difference. Now you can see that there's a, a nice line there. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask also. So let's go up to uh, our little mask rectangular here. And what we're going to do is select ellipse, double click it, and it's going to make one right around the circle there. Uh, then you're going to go into our expansion. We're going to bring it in a little bit. And then we're going to feather it out. And then that way it'll it, you won't have that that little line so it looks a little bit better okay because I'm running out of time guys as you can see here's one of the examples uh, to recreate it uh, if you wanted to add a little bit of shake you can add that by by creating a, a camera but once you have it done you can see it looks something like this I color corrected the whole thing added a little vignette moved it forward and there you go thanks again for watching guys uh, stay tuned for our, our next tutorial I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time